It's Thursday, June 13, 2024, and I just got back from watching the movie Inside Out 2. I gave it a 4 out of 5. But when I think of the emotions, especially like myself, being on my spiritual healing journey and having to wait on God with no money, I cannot really take care of myself, but I must constantly rely upon these scriptures and spiritual sayings and motivational help, this, that, and other. And it's like, when I am in need, you don't want to help me. I have health problems, this, that, and the other, and I'm doing my best to follow my dreams. But it's like, I don't have nothing to live for. And I could see why the enemy wants to unalive me so bad. But yeah, it's like people say they care, but you really don't. It's not that hard to help somebody in their time of need, especially when they are a giver and have helped you. See, this spiritual healing journey allows me to know the real from the fake, the ones who have done all they can to bully me in person and in over the internet. You know, and those are the ones that if you got it, you can assist. You don't have to be, you know, negative behind what I post or this, that, and the other. Um, you can actually just assist without no strings attached. Because if I can, you know, help you when you need my help with no strings attached, you should be able to do the same. See, these are the people we have to cut off. Now, I'm not talking about the people that are broke or low vibrational and probably just don't have it. I'm talking about the people who have it and they act like they too good to help you. And all they want to do is unfollow you and block you, this, that, and the other. Don't try to rebuke me if you don't want to help. You know, you, I, I know you see my posts. I know you scroll past them. So, you know... A lot of this mental health, personal development, spiritual growth, I'd be like, I'm tired of this. I'd be like, I'm done, God. You know, I'd be ready to go off on God. I'd be ready to go off on people, places, and things. Because this is enough. It's like I've had enough. You know, I have nothing to live for, honestly. You know, I really want to start a family, this, that, another, follow my dreams, help people, this, that, another. But when I go missing out of your life, you have nothing to live for either. You love my, sh you, you love my light. You love the fact that I'm positive, but a lot of times I'm actually a negative person. You know, I don't want to live for no reason and not get help when I ask for it. It's disrespectful. It's neglectful. You see what you want to see and you project on others. But when I ask for your help, you don't want to help. So when you don't want to help and I actually make the decision to still live, I'm not helping you. You want me to help you to take care of you and everybody else. I would rather watch you starve like you are watching me starve. Like you have all, you always have something negative to say and you laugh and this, that, and the other. And you don't think I know it. But God does. My ancestors know I, I'm ready to give up and die, if I'm being honest. Yeah, I am ready to give up and die. Mentally, all of that. I'm sick of this shit. I'm sick of it. I am tired. I am tired. Nobody wants to rescue me, but I'm the one that's got to save myself. And when I make it, I'm going to make sure you rescue your own self so you don't rely upon me and be a leech. And then have something to say about what I'm doing. Because it's not fair to me. You know, you want to drain me of my energy, time, and effort, my money, my peace. And then all of these profits and things... 
y'all, I'm gonna probably end up blocking y'all and unfriending y'all because y'all really be fake. Y'all are so fake. Yeah. And you don't assist me in my spiritual journey. You be watching. And you don't think I know that. And then you do all these bullying tactics and harassment over the internet. Y'all better stop doing that because a lot of us are going to start coming to your church or your home if we have the means to do that and come for you. So never play with me or anybody like me. Like we won't come to you, especially when we come to your city. If you're one of them scammers and things of that nature, yeah, I'm talking to you too. You think you can take advantage of people and use them and abuse them and verbally assault them and harm them. This that we're gonna get our we're gonna get our lick back to. This is the year of exposure. Are you real enough? Or are you just faking it? Do you love your church building more than you love God? Or do you love yourself and your pockets more than you love people that God has assigned to you? Yeah, because, yeah, people like me, we tired. We are tired. People want me to show up, send me the money. I need God to send me the money. It's not hard to sow some money into my life. It's not. You got it. And I know you do. If I've had it, then you got it. Don't nobody care about your little full-time job, your senior pastor job. Don't nobody care about you, your dependent. No, no, no. Don't nobody care about that. Don't nobody care about seeking validation and thinking you're better than somebody else while you're a narcissist and project all of your flesh, your fleshly and worldly things onto them. Bringing the thug life into the church building and, and, and pretend it's about God when it's not. And then you pretend my life is about you when it's not. And God is going to turn the tables around. People get on social media and tell people like me to change my thinking and things of that nature when we are more open-minded and receptive to different spirituality aspects of things. Even if that means getting a tarot reading and all of that good stuff. How dare you disrespect me and think you're going to get away with it and think karma is not going to come to you. As if, you know, you get the last word just because you unfriended and blocked me and took advantage of me, this, that, and other. You don't get the last word. Cat Williams started it. You see P. D. You see P. D. D. and all of the people associated with him. You're next. The church is not exempt. Especially those in leadership at the top. And those at the bottom who know it's wrong. And then you come across people like me and start talking shit to me. And you want to tell me not to do this, that, and the other because it's by scriptures and things of that nature. Well, where is God in the midst of my spiritual healing journey for me to tell me not to do something or to for me to tap into his presence and things of that nature? You know, because you think you have it all together. I don't. New me don't care. The old me cared. New me, I don't care. You need my help, I'm going to let you starve. I'm going to let you starve. I'm going to let the people connected to you starve too. Because you can't just like come into my, my peace and think I don't get to speak up and stand up for myself. Just because you don't want to hear it. Just because you know that you can't take advantage of me anymore. And I'm coming back to my real self to fight back. 
to tap into my passions, follow my own dreams, and see my own self on the red carpet. Because I am that prophet, celebrity life coach, entertainer, and trillionaire. And that's what God called me to do at this present time. And that's my plan. If I got to wait on God or if I got to take advantage of you, I will do that. Yeah, it's not hard to give. It's not. Y'all so fake with all these challenges and trends. Y'all so fake. It's not that hard to help nobody, if you, especially when you got it. But whatever the case may be, hashtag Blue Shield.